today I'm going to talk about mm, some way how to describe uh, some dynamical systems uh, by means of knots or and braids and uh, there are more or less simple dynamical systems which are braid-like or maybe group-like and there are some more complicated ones and uh, uh, those which are more complicated ones are described like, by something like knots and these are results of the year 2016 and I'm going to start with uh, the main principle or maybe main theorem and I will decide for many things uh, during my talk uh, and the principle is if we have a dynamical system which uh, uh, describes the behavior of some uh, n particles and there is some nice property, nice I would say general position uh, property of uh, uh, which is ruled by some k points then uh, these dynamical systems will have topological invariants which are valued in groups g and k and now I will give the definition of the group and talk about algebra, geometry and decipher many many words from this uh, slide okay so we fix some two integers n and k uh, the case n equals k is not interesting the, the group will be just the two and uh, my group will uh, have choose n k generators all po uh, which are indexed uh, by all possible subsets of cardinality k uh, from 1 to n and uh, um, um, these uh, generators a n will have three types of relations and here are the main uh, relation of uh, the main relations of that group and the first one is the tetrahedron relation and possibly um, looking from some other point of view and maybe not group like but maybe from some tensor point of view we will see that this is more or less the same as the zomologic of relation or the tetrahedron relation when we want to invert the tetrahedron namely assume we have some set of cardinality k plus one I want to take all we just uh, um, uh, omit uh, uh, each element and we get all possible subsets of cardinality k and we multiply the corresponding generators in one order and we get the same in the opposite order we can say that this is just the way of inverting the tetrahedron so for example if we have uh, 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 n plus one hyperplanes uh, uh, in the dimensional space then we can just read all intersection points and encode these intersection points by just numbers of planes which are intersected and if we go through the point of total intersection we will get indices inverted so and this happens for all possible indices this is the first relation and uh, the second and third relations are easier uh, the second one is the far commutative relation which um, is similar to that for braids uh, so if uh, our indices our indices will commute uh, but we do not require that they are quite disjoint. We just require that their intersection is not maximal possible. You will later see why. So they can have some intersection. Uh, and uh, um, so uh, provided that the cardinality is k minus 1, less than k minus 1, that they commute. And uh, uh, note that this never happens when a n equals k plus 1. It happens only if n is greater than. And also a relation which makes my groups similar to the cluster groups is uh, the relation that the square is equal to 1. Uh, so uh, now you see that this relation for the case when k equals 2 is just uh, uh, similar to the young Baxter equation and to maybe many other things we can get when we work with braids or virtual braids or whatever. And uh, I, I would also like to say that in general if we have some uh, relations which are written in one form, maybe tensor or maybe set theoretic, uh, we may play with them and we, we may try to construct many groups of, out of them. For example, for quantiles we know that we have, for example, Jan Baxter or we can have uh, set theoretic things or may, many other things. So, so may, many uh, relations which will have already been discussed during the conference 
uh, have many counterparts, uh, set theoretics, uh, set theoretics, uh, tensor, and so on. I will mostly work with groups. Uh, so now, um, uh, some examples of groups. Uh, well, as I said, uh, if n equals k, it's not interesting. Uh, we have the only one generator. But uh, the very first case one, it's already interesting. Uh, G32, we have three generators. We can say A12, A13, A23. Uh, uh, well, if we take them squared, uh, then uh, they are all uh, equal to one uh, squared, and also the product squared equals one. Uh, it is not necessary to write BAC squared equals one because it follows from what we have already written. Uh, so this relation is sufficient. And I would like to know that for G32, and also not for all groups G and 2, uh, uh, they, ca uh, they have a very fancy calligraph. Uh, a very fancy calligraph, which is the same as the calligraph for some Coxter group. So this group is commensurable with some Coxter group, and so it has many nice properties which allow one to use Coxter groups for the study of G and K, or, and vice versa. And as for G43, uh, uh, the work problem is solved. Uh, well, for G, uh, no, uh, the work problem is solved for uh, by, yeah. by Anton Klitschko, and we, we shall also see that uh, there are many nice uh, relations between uh, G and K for different N and K, and as for groups, uh, so uh, let me postpone it for a while, and I want to say what do these groups come from, and I will, I'm going to talk about the very main example of mine, the very main example which comes from the motion of particles on the plane, where our brains start from. So we have points on the plane, we have end points, and uh, the simplest and maybe uh, the most fundamental um, case of my theorem is uh, when we uh, take k to be equal to 3, and uh, we take the property to be uh, 3 points are linear. All properties are personal, so each point has its number once forever. And uh, um, I want to uh, put uh, my points in general position, so uh, I would like to de uh, deal with um, uh, pure braids, but uh, instead of taking uh, the initial and the final position to be on the line, I will take them on the um, uh, uniformly distributed on the circle just because I don't want uh, the initial position to be uh, linear. Uh, so, uh, well, as the time goes, I would like to write A, I, J, K whenever some Z, I, Z, I, J, and Z, K belong to the same line. And now, of course, it, mm, uh, it's clear what is meant by um, uh, 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 Mm, the word general position. It means that uh, the number of um, moments when some three points are collinear is finite, and also we should ask that all these points are non-degenerate. So, so uh, okay, uh, and uh, now with such a braid we associate a word, and uh, now what will happen if, uh, what will happen if uh, we mm, uh, do something uh, I, 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 I'm going to argue that the relations uh, which appear in this situation and which appear for other n and k are exactly the, uh, the relations from for the group G and K. So these are uh, these are general position relations. And in order to uh, show that this is not the only case. Uh, the only interesting and consistent case, uh, I want to say that uh, the same uh, dynamical system of endpoints uh, on the plane uh, can be studied if we take n, uh, if we take k to be equal to four, and instead of the property three points are collinear, we take the property four points belong to the same circle 
or line, which is uh, the degenerate case of the circle. And, and now, um, uh, and now the relation for PBN uh, oh, yeah, for for GN4 uh, um, will look like uh, uh, something like that: one, uh, one, two, three, four; one, two, three, five; one, two, four, five; one, three, four, five; one, two, three, four, five; and the same in the opposite order. Uh, note that besides the um, uh, the approach um, which follows from the general principle formulated in the very beginning of my talk, uh, uh, there is some other approach which is not a partial case of, of that. Uh, we can also um, uh, consider the condition uh, that for adjacent points belong to the same circle or line. Uh, this is the way of uh, describing uh, Delaunay tri uh, triangulation and uh, uh, Voronoi splittings. So if we have uh, several points on the plane, uh, we can tile uh, the plane into regions, and the uh, points in each region are closest to the uh, uh, point line in the center of that. So, so we have. Uh, uh, some lines tiling these points, and of course, uh, uh, in general position, uh, uh, the uh, a set which uh, splits uh, of the plane into regions will be uh, uh, a trivalent graph, and the most interesting situation will be when uh, we have a, not a trivalent graph, but a covalent graph. But this corresponds to the situation when some four points belong to the same circle. And this is also subject to some other study. But I would like to no, uh, notice that this is not exactly GN4, but be, be, because in GN4 we consider all possible situations when four points are on the same circle. Uh, but here uh, we should not take into account the situation when some four points which are far away from each other are on the same circle like this. Uh, uh, so, so here, uh, the topology doesn't change. And uh, this is the question of some, uh, of some maybe further study, but uh, there will be some other groups, and I will tell some words about those groups. So, but today, I will be working mostly with GN3 and GN4. And uh, uh, as for these uh, things, uh, I would like just to mention that uh, this will have something to do with the pentagon relation and, uh, and splitting a pentagon into uh, five triangles and to, uh, and to some consistency of what we have already heard in uh, Renat's talk, and, um, uh, which is related to many other parts of uh, topology. So, as for systems of points uh, in R2, so the relations, where do the relations come from? Well, uh, you, you have already seen that uh, the property we have chosen is uh, some co-dimension one property. So say three points on the same line or four points on the same circle. And this is just usual for topology to have study discriminant sets. And uh, then generators are some, uh, are some points of co-dimension one and relations are some points of co-dimension two, as we have seen in the very first talk of uh, this conference. So we can say that we're studying some discriminants. And if we want to study some loop in some uh, maybe complicated configuration space, we can say, OK, we're mm, uh, passing through some, through some walls, and we encode these walls by some points. And here, my G and K groups give new sorts of walls we path through. And uh, uh, I would like to say that these wall walls are very much personal. So they, uh, they contain a lot of information which is more complicated maybe just than uh, the information about which points are on the same line or maybe something else. So uh, in GNK, these walls are very much personal. And uh, now, uh, here we see uh, what the relations come from. The main thing is that we have four points on the same line. This is a horizontal quadricycle. And if we uh, 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 just uh, 
uh, consider some uh, 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 reg regular situation close to this quadrisecant, we will get four trisecants, and this is exactly the, uh, the main particular relations. And also, uh, uh, as for uh, the second and the third relation, they are very easy. Uh, actually, if we have some three points, for example, one, uh, uh, two, three uh, on the line, and uh, we may uh, have some points one, four, five on the line, and actually these lines are independent from each other and may happen that Mm, uh, these two lines uh, um, are at the same moment, and uh, actually uh, this means that 1, 2, 3, and 1, 4, 5 commute. And uh, uh, so th that's why I do not require indices to be, uh, the set, uh, sets of indices to be completely split. Uh, and the same actually for GN4. For GN4, we, uh, for circles, we can have two sets to, mm, we, we can have uh, two four element sets to have uh, some two uh, uh, common elements. Uh, so, and the tangency point. Well, this is the situation. Uh, with, this is the situation when we uh, just touch uh, some position. Uh, so we have one, two, and uh, uh, say three, which goes like this. So we can resolve it like this when we have no situation at all, uh, no, uh, not for a second at all, or we can resolve it like this when we have two instances when three appears on this line. So this is what, this is what uh, uh, the relations come from, and uh, automatically we get a map from the uh, pure brain group to uh, uh, this group GN, uh, GN3 and also to GN4. Why pure? Well, because uh, I don't want to mix up all indices. I want to, uh, my indices are personal, and I, uh, I don't want to, well, care about the permutations. Well, pure braids are almost all braids, um, well, up to some, up to the permutation group. So, uh, some, uh, uh, I would like to say that these groups are very interesting and highly non-trivial. We will soon see that GN2 are already very, uh, very non-trivial, uh, and the word problem is solved, and conjugacy problem is also solved. And uh, I suggest you to go to Bardakov's talk because G uh, groups GN2 are known under many names, uh, uh, Gaussian braids, and may many maybe may under many other braids, and maybe they they have been studied by many uh, many uh, means. And actually, uh, there are many uh, there are easily constructed epimorphisms. Uh, I, I said. Uh, uh, epimorphism on two free groups or free products of cyclic groups, so which uh, allows one to extract results easily, to extract some numerical invariants of uh, whatever objects we are studying easily just from the, their images in GNK. And uh, actually, uh, as for uh, the name GNK, uh, well, uh, the name comes from choose and k. In fact, this is in a sort of categorification. I would not, uh, well, under categorification we usually mean linear spaces, but here uh, we have groups with uh, that much generators. Uh, with that, um, and actually for g and k we have two very easy homomorphisms from g and k to g and minus one k. Uh, when we just for, uh, forget all those uh, uh, having at least one index equals n, which, which is equal to n, and uh, um, the other one uh, we, uh, where, where we take uh, the opposite, where we forget all those when um, at least one, uh, when no index equals n. So, for example, from G53, we can get a map to uh, G43 and to G42. And why? Why am I talking about strands? Because everything like this can be just drawn uh, by uh, in a way similar to braids. So we can pull some strands from the top to the bottom. Uh, we pull some end uh, some end points, uh, some end strands, and put uh, uh, some. Um, uh, crossings where some k 
K strands knit. And uh, uh, those, will be, uh, uh, those will be exactly uh, my objects. Um, I would like to note that these objects are very much non-planar. So, so I can write them arbitrarily and uh, there is no condition about uh, this graph to be planar. So um, if I want to compare them with braids, it would be better rather to compare them with virtual braids. And actually, they are something like that for GN2. And actually, uh, we will see that uh, there is a rewriting algorithm for Kelly graphs. We will see that uh, the Kelly graph for different groups uh, can be the same, uh, which will be used for studying both uh, one sort of groups and for the other sort of groups, for example, for GN2 and for Coxton groups. And actually, gradient descent algorithm, so we uh, can uh, write uh, uh, relations as we uh, have already written them. So we have the left hand side and we have the right hand side and we can understand what the increasing relation is and what the decreasing relation is. And we can uh, try to decrease the length whenever possible. So we are performing only those moves when it's possible to mm, not to increase the length. And finally, we will end up with the minimal representative, which is unique up to those moves which preserve the lens. So, for example, for, for knots, it would, look, it would look, if it were true, it would look like, uh, say, uh, something modular Rydermeister 3 only. So, we, uh, uh, we, uh, we undo Rydermeister 2 moves uh, 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 whenever possible and do some, some Rydermeister 3. And finally, we end up with something which is uh, well defined up to Rider Master 3 on. And this will uh, have its counterpart in group theory. For example, we will tell something for Coxter by using GNK and vice versa, for GNK by using Coxter. Uh, now, so here is the algebra. So this is uh, the very well known hexagon uh, splitting of the plane or honeycomb. And uh, we can consider that the Kelly graph for, um, uh, uh, for this uh, uh, Dinkin diagram. So we have A, B, and C. And uh, uh, for each hexagon, we have the relation that the, products, uh, uh, that the product cube is equal to 1. Uh, now, I, I argue that this graph uh, can be considered as the Kelly graph for something else. Uh, namely, we can. Uh, uh, instead of A, B, and C, I suggest to use colors for new generators, like A12 to be green, A13 to be red, and A23 to be blue. And uh, now we see that this is the same graph, but the relations are different. Here we have something Q equals 1. And here we would have only one relation, actually, A, B, C squared, uh, well, no, but not A, B, C, but A, 1, 2, A, 1, 3, A, 2, 3, squared equals 1. And uh, mm, uh, so we see that uh, the word problem for both groups is the same. And actually, uh, and actually mm, uh, when we uh, want to understand whether some uh, element gives me a, uh, mm, uh, gives me a, uh, a unit in my group, I want to uh, go along some path uh, and, uh, uh, well, uh, by geometric reasons, I, I see that if I uh, uh, intersect, say, uh, the line uh, uh, x equals zero, then I have to intersect this line back uh, on, some other, uh, on some other level. So, for example, if I intersect this green line here and I want to get back, I, want, I would like to intersect this green line somewhere else. So, I see that green line, uh, that uh, uh, green intervals are, can be cancelled only with green intervals. And this is important because in the cluster groups, one green interval can be A and the other green interval can be B. And here we see that these green intervals are uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the same 
uh, vertical level, and this is important. And actually, this happens for all groups, GN, uh, GN2. And actually, we can say something about indices. Uh, we, uh, for example, uh, for all words uh, in GN, uh, GN2, we can define various indices. Uh, for example, here for A12, we can define the three index, which is some parity, say. Uh, and uh, we can say, okay, uh, mm, uh, this index is preserved under moves which are similar to the third right master move, uh, and uh, if two letters are cancelled, uh, then they have the same index. For example, here, uh, for example, here, um, uh, um, uh, if I have, say, A12, A13, A23 squared, uh, uh, then I can. Uh, invert the order, uh, invert the order somewhere uh, like this, uh, uh, and uh, when I invert the order, uh, then uh, I can cancel this A12 with this A12. Uh, but uh, uh, the index, uh, the three index here was zero, and the three index here was zero. I can do many things like that uh, for uh, mm, GN, uh, GN2 for arbitrary n. And uh, actually, this is something we see for Coxter groups. We see that elements uh, in Coxter words have lots of mm, indices and many new information uh, we haven't seen before. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, tell a couple of words about geometry and topology. We can study about these groups, uh, G and K. We already see that they are uh, uh, not trivial enough. Uh, and uh, as for G and K, so far I don't know. This is a question. I don't know whether uh, uh, G and K, uh, whether the word problem for G and K can be solved for arbitrary K, uh, and I don't know whether they are related to uh, um, uh, uh, Coxter groups in the same way. But uh, anyway, I have lots of homomorphisms, and I have lots of indices like this. I can extract a lot of information. Uh, now uh, the main uh, uh, result I already talked about uh, last year, it was uh, my, uh, my joint work with Nikonov when we explicitly calculated everything for GN3, and actually we also calculated for GN4, we explicitly uh, calculated the homeomorphism from the bra uh, pure brain group to uh, uh, the groups GN3 and GN4, and actually uh, We've heard a nice talk about splitting or unknotting numbers for knots, and now I can say that here we can do many things for free. Because you see, our images in uh, uh, these groups G and K are quite similar to uh, are, are quite similar to some images in uh, free groups. Well, I, I do not give any explicit calculations. I gave gave something <laughs> last year, but but this group uh, these groups have many. Uh, many easy maps to uh, free uh, to free groups, which give lots of lower bounds for for some. For for example, if we do some uh, uh, cross and switch operation, uh, then uh, this means to some easy operation in the free product of some groups, which can be easily handled and gives lots of lots of estimate. And also for G and four this. Uh, so uh, now. I would like to say that uh, the, um, arc, uh, the usual presentation we know of uh, the, uh, the arcing gray groups is actually the presentation of the G and 2 nature. Uh, well, maybe some modification of the G and 2, uh, and uh, also I would like to propagate uh, the statement that, uh, well, many invariants are more or less G and K. Uh, top invariance for some G and, uh, for some N and K. So let's look. What are we doing if uh, we want to uh, uh, in, in call the classical brain by just uh, usual generators? So uh, uh, I don't like to encode uh, generators just by one local letter. So, for example, here, instead of saying uh, sigma 2, I would rather say sigma 1, 3 uh, in honor of uh, the first point here and the third point here. It would be more convenient for me to 
uh, uh, encode the just usual classical braids with usual crossings that way. Look at uh, the topmost points of strands and uh, 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 so, uh, for these braids, I have uh, some generators like sigma ij and some relators. Uh, relations, of course, not all words will correspond to classical braids, and this is a very well known story. There are some uh, virtual braids here, but the most interesting relation is, of course, this one, and this is the Yang Bax relation, and uh, um, this is the third writer master move, and the other relation is just. Uh, uh, the relation saying that uh, two generators commute if their uh, indices are split. Uh, so we have this relation. And uh, what does it correspond to geometrically? So uh, we have these horizontal planes which are perpendicular to the blackboard. And uh, uh, we want to fix those points when in our plane z equals constant. Uh, uh, some two points have the same x-coordinate. So we have some points having the same x-coordinate, and then uh, if these points have number i and j, we write down, well, sigma ij. Maybe with some exponent, plus or minus, but I'm not interested in that, uh, interested in that exponent. Uh, this is a minor, minor detail. Who is over, who is under, who is left, who is right. The most important thing is that we have some sigma ij. And this says that actually uh, uh, the uh, mm, presentation of the break group we know from the very beginning is nothing but a modification of the G and two approach. And now uh, I would like to say that uh, as for this G and two approach, uh, we have invisible generators. What do I mean? I mean that if we draw some break and we we have just classical generators, we can say that there are hidden generators which come not from G and two, but rather from. GN3, or maybe even GN plus 1. So let me see. Uh, uh, so this, uh, 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 let me say the following. I was interested to the moment, uh, I was interested in the moment when some two points, uh, uh, ZI and ZJ, were on the same, um, were on the same vertical line. I can say that instead of vertical line, we have some infinite point somewhere uh, in the minus infinity. So then I say instead of, well, uh, I and J are on the same line, I can say I have an infinite point here, and I have the I and the J, and they are collinear. Uh, uh, in the group theoretic level, I can say, well, I just uh, take this inclusion by adding a separate strand somewhere in the minus infinity. And then I uh, take this uh, map as described before. The, uh, the only novelty is that I have this, mi uh, this minus infinite point. And then I can make a distinction between uh, 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 the generators we know from the, uh, from the very beginning and the generators we know from uh, the year 2015, actually. Actually, we can, uh, we can uh, 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 take a mixed group with, mixed, uh, with different sorts of I and G, which can be either infinite or not infinite. And here, if some generator uh, uh, were infinite, then it would mean that I reduce from Z, uh, from, uh, from G and 3, Gn plus 1, 3 to G and 2. This is one homomorphism. And if they are all finite, then I would reduce to this situation. So then uh, let me uh, uh, draw some examples. And these are actually uh, um, some examples from my joint work with uh, uh, my postgraduate student, Kim Sanjong. Uh, and uh, uh, so the main uh, thing I'm uh, going to say here is that we have some imaginary generator. And this is sort of principle. 
So we have a group which has some presentation with generators and relators. And uh, um, then, uh, if we are happy, we can have uh, a better presentation of a larger group so that the initial group is uh, embedded in, into a larger group and uh, the, rela uh, the, uh, the relations look as follows. Look as follows. Uh, so mm, uh, if we uh, omit new generators, then we get the initial relations and nothing more. So for example, for example, for braids, what we had, uh, uh, what we had, uh, uh, say, uh, A, one, two, uh, infinity, uh, A, one, three, uh, infinity, A, two, three, infinity, uh, A, one, two, three, squared uh, equals one. Uh, so uh, if I forget about if I forget uh, about the infinity, I would get only a one to three. I would get only a one to three, and uh, then I can write down a group which is bigger than the break group and which has a natural projection to this break group, which just takes all new generators to one. Uh, so now uh, let me give concrete examples. So, so here are all generators, and here is something new, which depends on R, which depends on the set of new generators. Uh, and now uh, 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 it has lots of corollaries because, as I said, for GN2, for uh, these groups, G, uh, already GN2 have lots, of, lots of indices and have lots of cheap homomorphisms to some easy, easily calculated groups. And for classical braids, we can also have it. So, so classical generators of classical braids do have lots of indices. Why? Well, because if we have a classical braid, we can just draw new generators. So we can just draw uh, mm, uh, generators A, I, J, K, which correspond to tri-sequence. And then uh, these tri-sequence will give lots of indices to the initial generators, and uh, this will give me a lot of new homomorphisms. So let me uh, just give a picture from our mm, joint work. So, well, uh, I want just to say that uh, everything here, here is very much manageable. Uh, actually, uh, so this is the standard generator of the break, uh, of the pure break group, and we have just to calculate the situation uh, when one uh, point goes around the other point. For example, point number I goes around or the point number J. Uh, for me, uh, it's convenient to put the infinity here in the center uh, and all points to be uh, on the uh, on this. Uh, Half circle. Uh, so, if I were interested only uh, uh, in um, classical art in generators, I would get this picture. So, I uh, tra um, travels like this, and uh, I'm interested in all those situations when I is on the same vertical line with something, with maybe K, maybe something up to J. And if, I'm in, uh, if, if I want to uh, use this G and K approach, then I'm interested in trisecond. So in those situations where some three points, one of which is definitely I, uh, is uh, on the same uh, uh, straight line with some other two points, for example, K minus one K, or maybe something else. And this uh, actually uh, will lead me to uh, some drawing of that form. And this drawing here means that we have uh, actually classical things like this. You see, so this is this is the classical crossings uh, where mm, some strand number, uh, uh, say k, intersects with some uh, with some strand number i. Uh, uh, but 
and circled our virtual crossings, uh, which are uh, just artifacts of the planar projection. But also I have some triple points, and these triple points are uh, exactly those new generators which were invisible. So from a classical breadboard, I have some invisible generators. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, um, explicitly calculated. And actually now I'm going to pass to the north counterpart of all that theory. And what about the north counterpart? So we can uh, consider dynamical systems of n particles. But what if the number n is not constant? So uh, by codimension, by dimension and codimension reasons, we can always count something. And we can say that, well, we multiply in homology or we count some number of, I don't know, holomorphic discourse or maybe we'll, uh, solutions to some differential equations. And we, if we know that some dimension is zero, then some proper algebraic count will give us some result. And uh, if we are lucky, we can make this in, uh, result well, equivariant or um, make this result subject to some um, group action or whatever. But, uh, um, however, sometimes it may happen that uh, the uh, geometrical number of points is not constant. So algebraically, the number of points is constant. But geometrically, the number of points can change. So two points can get born or two points can get canceled. Uh, and this is the situation when we pass through from a braid to a knot. And the problem is that uh, uh, the right object, uh, which generalizes everything here, is not uh, a one-dimensional formalism, but rather uh, something like two-dimensional knots. So let me uh, uh, tell what it means. And uh, so here is the beginning of the theory of this year. And actually, uh, what can we try to do with one dimensional format? So uh, we see this group G and K. And uh, G and K for any K can be encoded, well, as mm, graphs which look like braids, up to moves which look like randomized moves, and that's OK. Now we can say, OK, we draw lots of strands. We can close them up. We can close them up. Well, uh, uh, we are inter since we're interested in a trisecond, we can say, OK, uh, if 1, 2, and 3 belong to the same trisecond, we can look at some one-dimensional set. And the most obvious candidate for the one-dimensional set is uh, the set of uh, pairs, x, y. So we can look at uh, a knot in three states, and we can look at pairs. And if x, y, and z belong to the same line, we can say, OK, then there is a triple point. What's wrong here? And the problem is that uh, if we perform something local for knots, uh, then our one-dimensional objects will be subject to some non-local operations, some operations which are which look like the borders. Uh, namely, uh, namely, if we have some max, uh, some two maxima for a knot, which mm, mm, are on the same level, and we want to uh, look at the configuration space of all, um, of all lines from, uh, of all um, lines connecting one point on my knot to another point of my knot, then locally it would lo look like that. So one, three, when I get to the maximum, will uh, uh, go on with 2, 3. And uh, 1, 4 will proceed with 2, 4. But if uh, two uh, maxima switch and uh, one, uh, this maxima goes over, then uh, locally the topology of my, 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 my dimensional object will look like that. So uh, uh, there will be some global transformation of the whole object which is something like cobordism and which will spoil the whole game. And so, uh, and what is the answer? And the real answer, uh, the hint for the real answer uh, I'm going to tell a couple of words about is what we have uh, in two-dimensional case, namely, look at this situation when a plane goes through a, a saddle point 
when we have when we have two plates. When we have when we have two sheets uh, when we have two sheets of uh, two surfaces. Uh, so if we look just at the intersection, uh, then the intersection will behave like this uh, in a way to that one. But if we record much more information, if we record the two-dimensional information, it would be much more. And actually, this is one of the Rosman moves, one of the moves for two knots uh, that uh, uh, we can deal with. And actually, uh, when I was working on uh, that formalism, I understood that, uh, that we uh, can get a map from knots to two knots. <laughs> actually, not quite two knots, they will be virtual somehow, but we will get some objects. So here is the formal uh, description of my objects. Uh, and uh, from a classical knot, I can record much more information which will contain both classical information and GN three like information. And this information will be some two dimensional complex. And this two dimensional complex, which is defined like this, will be uh, uh, something subject to Rosman moves. Namely, I can consider a formal complex, so I, can, I consider a formal, uh, formal torus, which is uh, a, the, the project of my knot with uh, the space of all possible directions. So S1 times S1 is the torus, and uh, then I identify some points. So, and then I put some over-under information, and I get some two complex with some over-under information, and here is maybe the main picture uh, that uh, we can get a Rosman move. So actually, uh, if we look at the situation when something happens along the, uh, around the quadricecant, we will have, uh, we will have uh, sheets uh, uh, which will correspond to uh, which will uh, which will correspond to uh, just arbitrary directions uh, 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 at points of the knot. We will have double lines, which will correspond to uh, which will correspond to uh, just secants. I mean horizontal horizontal lines uh, connecting two points on the knot. We will have triple points, which will correspond to horizontal trisecants, and. Uh, 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 if we uh, perform some moves, we will get some quadricycles. So we will get them, yeah. Triple point correspond to a tricycle. Uh, triple point correspond to a tricycle. And quadricycle will have, uh, will, will appear if we perform an isotope. Because that's the relation of the moves with the dynamic points, however. Yeah, yeah. So the, co the, com the comment is that if we record only one dimensional information, uh, it will be too weak, but if we uh, if we record uh, uh, the information of uh, uh, the two-dimensional complex as a whole, we will get we will get some some uh, quite powerful thing which records a lot. So at the brain level, at the brain level, well, we will have only moves like that, but we will not have this. And at the knot level, yeah. Uh, so, 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 so here, here, if I if I record only one dimensional one dimensional information, this means that I record only those uh, only those pairs of points uh, on, on, on my knot, and then uh, uh, only red uh, part is recorded, and when I undergo uh, this move. Uh, when two maxima, uh, when two maxima uh, switch their order, uh, uh, locally uh, uh, my one manifold where everything is recorded will change drastically. What kind of two-dimensional information you propose? I want to uh, 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 take all this two-dimensional information. I mean, I, I, I take the whole I have the whole, the whole torus. I take my node, uh, and for each point of my node, I take the, the space of all possible uh, vectors emanating from this point. And this will be a circle. Uh, for each point on the knot, I will have a circle, and totally this will be a torus. 
Uh, so on this torus, I will have some points which will be identified with over under information. And since my time is over, I, I, I will just sh uh, show you some drawing. And this drawing is here the trefoil. And here is the fox coloring of the trefoil. By alpha of t, I mean that the two complex. And here, uh, what, what, I, what I drew uh, jointly with my postgraduate student is how to recover this fox coloring of the knot from some coloring of the target object. I mean that uh, the fox coloring, and actually the quangle completely, can be recovered from the information absolutely combinatorially. So I would like to say that the image of my map, alpha, which will be some, not quite to not, but I would say virtual to not, or, uh, well, because it should not live exactly in some force space, it will contain both types of information. The information we know and uh, like, for example, a fundamental group or quantum or whatever, as you can see here, and the information uh, like G and K if we deal not with knots but with braids because we have all crossings there. So we can, um, uh, for classical crossings, we, we will have G and K-like information. And here is some list of maybe new problems and questions. So for group theory, we have lots of groups which in, embed in G and K. Uh, obvious candidates are braid, uh, braid, boxer, maybe other things. Pentagon is related to many many things here because uh, 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 we can uh, do Voronoi splittings and uh, if we uh, go, go if we go around some uh, co-dimension two singularities we will get exactly to uh, pentagon relations actually as we have seen for the Artin break groups we see some imaginary generators which are hidden but for many groups we can look for such imaginary generators which are GNK-like uh, GN and uh, they will tell us a lot of information about new groups. Well, of course, mapping class uh, for uh, two surfaces, uh, of course, it's, uh, you know, since we have the homological equation, uh, it should be related to two knots and many other things. And uh, uh, also, of course, uh, since we have uh, dynamical systems of points, uh, of points on the complex plane, we can study topological Hagawa theory. And actually, finally, uh, since uh, uh, you know, finally we can uh, uh, look for GNK homology, homotopy, Morse theory, and whatever else, here are some references, and I think my time is up.